I wish I could tell you I was surprised. Unfortunately, uh, we have seen since the eruption of uh, uh, the war in Gaza uh, a pattern uh, that uh, every time we are told that we are close to a ceasefire in Gaza, uh, uh, it doesn't happen. Uh, Similarly, when we were with our partners working together on a very concrete call for a ceasefire in regards to Lebanon, uh, our impression was that that was acceptable, only to learn now that no, it is not acceptable. And I fail to understand uh, how uh, war and the continuation of war uh, can be uh, the only option. There must be other options, and therefore I will reiterate our call for ceasefire, and I will reiterate our uh, call for diplomacy to prevail, and I will note that uh, the statement was worded very carefully to ensure that not just uh, uh, Lebanon's interests were taken into account, but also the interests uh, of uh, Israel, and I hope, again, that we can allow diplomacy to prevail rather than the guns. I just want to reiterate that yesterday the 27 member states of the European Union agreed on a statement on exactly the same line as the one that was forged by uh, US and France and joined by other states. The war is not a solution. And these attacks against Lebanon has been creating such a great number of civilian casualties that cannot just be justified by the right to defense. Certainly, the right to defense exists for everyone, also for Israel. But the, the way this war is being conducted, by the, this high number of strikes from the air, from the land, forcing hundreds of thousands of people to leave their countries, their houses, which are being destroyed, so they will not have anywhere to go back, is certainly not the way to ensure the security of Israel. I think it's just the country. So I can only reiterate the call of the member states of the European Union for a ceasefire and to look for the only possible solution which is the implementation of the agreed United Nations resolutions. We can do one last question, please. <laughs>